Alright, you can do it. Due to the lack of space, I need to rearrange this Honda now. Stay! I kind of missed this green machine. And I'm matching it, and I didn't even mean to do that. I have to be one with the color green in order to get everything done. This thing needs some attention, and I'd love to give it some attention. So let's get at it. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Before we start, I have some magic numbers, or lucky numbers. You know how when you go to the uh, Chinese buffet or the Chinese takeout place, you get the fortune cookies? Well, this didn't come from a fortune cookie. This came from Google. So the top numbers are the Kawasaki specs. The bottom numbers are the Honda specs. Now, for you dirt bikers, you probably were confused about the specs. For you that don't know about valve clearances and whatnot, are probably completely confused. I have my method, you guys probably have yours. But as long as both of us understand our own methods, and we know what we're doing, then we can complete the project. And then we can get these valves into tolerance. As you guys can see, there's an oil leak. I, I believe that's oil. Yeah, that's oil. Yeah, that's oil. It's not coolant because if it was coolant, it'd be sweet. And that's why when you spill coolant or antifreeze on the floor from a car or a dirt bike or a four-wheeler, you're supposed to clean it up because then your pets come by and lick it up and then they die. Just a little tip. Coolant and antifreeze is sweet. Very sweet. But toxic! So let's figure out where this leak is coming from, shall we? The best thing about having oily bolts and oily nuts, they come right off. The problem is, is when you leave your ratchet out in the rain, and then the internals get kind of, well, let's just say not well lubricated. Who is this guy? What, what, do you, what do you call yourself? I guess YouTube calls me Jake the Toilet Snake, though. Well, welcome, Jake the Toilet Snake. What's going on? Uh, we got a tire to change. Oh, sweet! Whoa. We got a tire to change as well. You don't like that tire? No. That tire is phenomenal. No. Look, look at that. It's got... Dalton, it's been raining for two days straight. So? This, this thing's bulletproof, man. What, what do you got against my tire? I don't think it's junk. I think we ought to change both. Well, I don't have a tire for this, I, I don't think. Do you really? Yep. Do you have it with you? Yep. Really? Yep. You're the man. Yep. <laughs> yep, he says. Okay, then I'll put my bike away for now and we'll make room for the tires. I'll bring it in real quick and make it decide. All right, sounds good. When life gives you lemons, who am I kidding? This is like ice cream. You take that. You take that like Halloween candy, man. He's offering me a tire. Jake's the bomb. Jake's the bee's knees. Don't mind my mess. I'm, I gotta winterize all that stuff. Wow. Look at that. So that one's brand new. That one must be yeah. going on yours. Yeah. Where, where'd this one come from? Pat from Springville. Pat? He hooked you up? Yep. What was this originally going to go on? Uh, CR250. CR250? Yeah. Whose bike? Oh, his bike. His bike. Yeah, but then, blew it up. and then he gave it to you, and what were you going to put it on? The KX. The KX? Yeah. And then he sold the KX. Yep. That is a 19 inch, so it doesn't fit my new bike. It should fit right on yours. It's a one. Let's see what this one is. All right, mine's a 110 90 19. I find the numbers, I'll let you know this one. This is a 110 90 19. That's the exact same tire. Yeah, except for it's got a little bit better tread. It's up to you, it's a different design, but. Yeah, how much do you want for it? Nothing. I can have it? Yep. Really? Oh, I appreciate that. All right, Jake, let's show the viewers what we're working with. So, why are you changing your tire? Well, currently, where's the camera? Over there? Yeah. I want to change my tire because this is a trials tire, and it's been raining for 48 hours here in New York. This tire is a much better, it's a soft to intermediate mud tire, when this is more like a hard packed. So, I think what Jake's hoping for is that since there's enough gappage here, that once he gets on the, the throttle, that the mud flies out of the yeah. tread and continues to grip, where this one kind of will have difficulties getting rid of the, the mud, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, Jake ended up getting a good deal on this tire. We're going to change these up. And then since he gave me that tire, we might have time to put it on the Kawasaki. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Just get the size you need for now, and then we I'll put them away after. There's only like... 60 sockets there. <laughs> you want me to start draining this air though? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. 
Now, I'm not making fun of you or anything, Jake, but that is exactly why I pull the, the drawer I'm not gonna pull out, the one below it, out a little bit, and then I pull it out, because I've, I've learned from doing this. Oh yeah, I found the 12. There you go. So like, see how you got the hex one here, but then you uh, have this one here. Which one goes where? And this one goes to the bottom. I think I'm gonna drive out to pick up Seth on Saturday because he had an unfortunate event with his Jeep. Back over a couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess he, he called me up and said, well, he probably called you up too. Yeah. And he went to start his truck, and I guess it started in gear and rolled over a couch. That thing must fire up pretty good though because if, if it were me, I would have moved like a foot and been like, whoa, 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 let me let go of the key here. So that must either fire up really quick or he, would, he must have been really sleepy. <laughs> you know? Well, I got three. just the extra heavy duty tube I bought. Now, that is a nice tube. That feels like a tire. It's freaking heavy. That's why it came out. You could just run one of them on a rim. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> we decided to do the over over technique. Well, Jake did. If I can get a good bite. I think four spoons would be the most beneficial. Because two, you can just barely do it. Three, it helps a little bit more, but if you really go for one, I think it would. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. You'd have the whole tire up. Enough. I can't get a good bite here. Did you hear that there in there and it's good for you? No. There's a bite. There's a bite. First two inches are the most difficult. The second here, I don't want to be hungry anymore. I took so many bites. Oh man, he's got the puns. Get up there, reach what I'm gonna. Brand used. S12, we're gonna try out the Michelin S12 XC. Cross competition. Go for some cider and donuts right about now. I think so. Yeah, all this bike talk. Shove it in there, Jake. Soon we're gonna be on the road again. On the road again. I'm gonna hold it off when you go in there. <laughs> That's something. I think this is the reason why I haven't changed the tire on my cup stack. Yeah. Nobody has been here to help. <laughs> tire business, man. Made Jake bleed. Yep. Now the tire's got AIDS. <laughs> Yeah, might as well quit the air scramble. Yeah, because he's gonna fling mud and he's gonna fling infected mud. No good, no good. Get into your eyes and you can <laughs> that. Then, then you got the virus. Oh, so that's my blood on you? I think it is your blood. What the hell? This is disgusting. <laughs> this is how you got a bloody hand, Jake. Yeah. You know, this retracts for safety purposes. The cool thing about doing two tires is the first one's gonna be a bastard. And the second one's gonna be a breeze. I hope so. Me too. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna remain optimistic. Oh, you like that shot? That's a good shot. I got the shot. Over there, over there, sing a prayer over there. Holy cat! Jake's on Snapchat at Jake the Toilet Snake Beast Back Score. <laughs> it's serious. It's the back score. <laughs> this is going on extremely easy. Yeah, let's just make sure this stays. 
Classic. Well, that's why I'm holding this. Okay. New Tiger Stretch. Yeah. We're almost done. So that's a good thing. Small bites, small bites. We're not hungry anymore. We gotta, we gotta reduce our bite size. Currently reducing bite size. Coming down to the last 10 inches. Hey, one, two, four. You're, you're going for it all right here? No, I'm sliding over. Oh, I was about to say. What are these spoons made out of? I don't know, man. They're, it took forever to grind that tiny little bit off. Really? Yeah. You get that off? You what? get that on? Yeah. How would you get it on? Magic. You got it on though, huh? Yep. Yeah. Now the, the final test. What's the final test? It's time to line it up. See if the tube isn't popped now. Please don't let the tube be popped. That's why we use spoons instead of forks because forks <laughs> would pop tubes. 